God said that he will forgive us every other sin that we've committed. But he will not forgive anybody that have sinned against the Holy Spirit. That is a non-go area. God we know is a loving God. God we know is almighty. God we know is omnipotent. God we know is omniscience. God is everything. And God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son for the sake of us. And yet, God is telling us, if you sin, I will forgive you. But there is one sin I cannot forgive you. And that's the sin against the Holy Spirit. With that, I say, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Ini TV. We are global and social commentators. Remember, here we are Obi-centric. We are for Peter Obi. We are for the Labour Party. We are for the obi Dati movement. Why are we making this video? Look at what we just posted here. Our president, the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Muhammadu Buhari, retired general, have said that we should please forgive him. For those he, that he has caused pain, he pleaded to be forgiven. For those whose, whose policies he has implemented have caused them havoc, he begged for forgiveness. And for all he has offended, he begged that he should be forgiven. Remember, months back, the first lady, Aisha Buhari, also came out and also apologized for the eight years, just a couple of weeks to go. Eight years of hardship on Nigeria. Eight years of pain on Nigeria. Eight years of severe confusion that this con country has caused on our mental being. Half of Nigeria are psychologically sick. How will you explain a country that has over 120 million people out of the 200 million people? In adjet poverty, in multidimensional poverty, how do you explain a country that is so rich, that is so blessed? How will you explain and yet, will suffer. a man in Nigeria that you say is useless, that I just finished from school, did not fix himself to get a job because the jobs are not there? When he travels out, in a question of six to one year, he becomes the hot spot. He becomes the genius. He becomes a very brilliant guy outside the country. Why is it that in Nigeria, we can't successfully make it? Because of government policies. Because of corruption. Because of insecurity. Because of all these. And that was why we voted for Buhari. Remember, let us go back. When Jonathan was there. Buhari said, Jonathan could not tackle insecurity. Buhari was one of those that led protests, peaceful protests. And with our honorable, Woloshan Inka was also part of them, and many others against Jonathan. What was the scene of Jonathan? It was Jonathan could not fight insecurity. And the insecurity was in what? In a sectional part of the north, precisely the north east, that was the region where we had insecurity, and a lot of people that I've just mentioned, in addition with Tinubu, came out and started protesting against Jonathan, that Jonathan was a weakling, that Jonathan could not do anything right, and Buhari came out and said he would do three things. First of all, the insecurity, he said he will solve it in three months. That was what he told us. That was his campaign promises. Insecurity was one of them. He said he will fight corruption. He said, and he said he would solve our economic problem. That was his promise. And now he has failed completely. 
Remember what I said? Aisha, the first lady, apologized some few months back, about four or five months back, that they are sorry that they fail us, that we should find a heart in our hearts to forgive them. Then, two days back, Buhari came out and said he apologized to Nigerians if his policies have hurt them. If he could not solve the problem of Nigeria. We are making this video. We are not going to argue that he has failed. We know fully whether he has failed. The reason why we are making this video is do we accept his apology? That was why we started. That even God, God Almighty, all pure, all loving, said that there are certain sins he will not spare you and me. So that is why we are making this video. How many Nigerians have died for insecurity since 1999? What do we tell them? We are sorry. We are sorry that we we'll have a, a retired general that could nothing to protect the Nigerian citizens, which is the number one basic function of any government to protect life and property. What do we tell the 6 million people that have died from 1990 dates by the Boko Haram, Fulani Hesmen, the bandits, kidnappers? What do we tell those souls that have gone to the Lord that will have sorry because the president said so? There are some sins that will not be forgiven. We can't do you anything, but the blood of the innocent citizens are in your hand, Mr. President. If you know you can't do it, you don't come in. And if you decide that you're coming in, then you should be up and doing. We should see efforts. And that is the difference between Peter Obi and the others. Peter Obi said, even if I cannot do it, even if I am not capable of doing it, but you will see a 100% effort. Even up to yesterday, people in Benway, in the IDP camps, these are people that have already been displaced by bandits, SME, or whatever you call them. The local governments, the state government have to look for IDP camps for them. Even while they were residing there, terrorists, went there and killed 88 persons. We did not hear you apologize to those souls. We did not hear you beg for those souls. You're begging for us that are alive when we don't know if it will be our turn tomorrow. The insecurity is so much in Nigeria that now you have to go with private security, especially when you are traveling in the northern part of Nigeria. Just a few days back, policemen were brutally murdered in Imo State by unknown gunmen. That's your job, Mr. President. You fail. You fail. The third time, you are failed. And now you beg for forgiveness. What do, we tell? what do we tell those who has left wife, widows, who have left sons, orphan, who have left husband, widower. What do we tell them? You said you will fight corruption. But this is the regime. We are snakes. We are involved in corruption. Animals, monkey, we are involved in corruption. It was during the time of Jonathan. It was humans that were involved in corruption. But your regime, it has improved. The animals are now participating in addition to humans in corruption. And you expect us to say, you are sorry. We accept your apology. We want to see efforts. We want to see you making efforts. What have you done? It's not just enough to say, I am sorry. What have you done? Or what do you want to do in the remaining three weeks that is left?
You are shying away from your responsibility. You are shying away from your responsibility. Economically, this is the first time in Nigeria. I am above 50. This is the first time in Nigeria that I have seen people using money to buy money. Not even in the Haitian days did people use money to buy money. In the Haitian days, it was trade by butter. You bring your goods, I bring my goods, and if we are satisfied, we'll change. And later, other objects were used as monetary, like the cowries, like gold, and all the other things. You don't use cowries to buy cowries then, or you don't use gold to buy gold there. This is the first time in my life I've seen people go to bank. You are going to collect 10,000. You will have to pay 13, 14, or even 15,000. You use 5,000 more to buy. This is the first time. Nigeria is one of the largest producers of oil, petroleum. But yet, this was a country where we saw Nigerians fighting, beating themselves to air in the gas station, in the petrol station. We've seen video where people went to bank naked, dance on the cashier table because they had no money to eat, leaving the bank without collecting their money. They had money in the bank, but they could not. Why will you ask for forgiveness? Have you forgiven yourself? If you have forgiven yourself, you have done everything within your power to leave a good legacy behind. To leave a country united. Your regime has brought disunity to Nigerians. Now, the Igbos are fighting the Hausas. The Yorubas are fighting the Igbos. The Hausas are fighting the Fulani. What has Nigeria what has become, Nigeria under, become your under your watch? And you ask for forgiveness. And you think... Nigerians can throw eight, eight years of prisoner in a, a way, eight years of being enslaved in by your own country, eight years of policies that have brought the the, the psychological bewilderness in, in us, eight years of pain and sorrow, eight years of death. While living, we became a living dead during your regime, during your watch. And you want us to throw those eight years of hardship just like that? We are Christians. We believe in the forgiveness of sins. But there are some certain sins that should not go. There are some certain sins that should not go without punishment. We can't do nothing. But we'll say that you've sold bitterness among Nigerians. We now see ourselves as enemy during your watch. Indeed, you have left a legacy. You have left a legacy. Comparing you to Jonathan will be like comparing darkness after light. Jonathan regime was like a paradise. Jonathan Regine, compared to yours, was heaven on earth. Jonathan Regine was wonderful, was blissful when you compare to yours. There's a saying in where I'm from. If you have a king and you keep remembering the past king, then the king now should know he has not done so well. Mr. President, you are aware you have not done so well from your speech. And that's why you're begging for forgiveness. For once, I will support Showare. We cannot forgive you because there are some certain sins that should not go unpunished. This is Ini TV. We are global and social commentators. If it's the first time you've seen this channel, 
we we'll ask you to please subscribe to this channel like and comment remember after you subscribe just press the notification bell button so that each time we upload video it comes directly to you you won't have to bother searching and for our returning subscribers we'll say thank you thank you thank you remember we love you but god love you most we will catch you when we make another video until then we'll say chooks adios au revoir ciao hasta la vista remember not all sins will be forgiven eight years of pain eight years of torture cannot be swept under the carpet thank you and god bless i hope nigerians in their hearts of hearts find a place to forgive you